Hello and good day. Welcome to Around the World at the Speed of Mike. Today we're going to be talking about a bare bones flight around the world for $810. The first flight's going to go from Los Angeles to Tokyo, Tokyo to Manila, the Philippines, Manila to uh, Dubai, and then also in the United Emirates, we're going to go to Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi to Budapest, Hungary. Hungary to Paris, and then back to LAX via Calgary, Canada. So the first flight's going to be from Los Angeles to Tokyo on Zip Air um, for $192, leaving on November 18th. Uh, there's a ton to do in Tokyo if you can do a week there, but like it's for the sake of this this video and getting the cheapest things, we're only going to stay here till November 23rd. Um, on the 23rd, you're going to fly from Tokyo, or not, sorry, the 24th. So November 24th, you're going to fly from Tokyo to Manila, also on Zip Air again. That's going to be $127. Um, if you book directly on Zip Air, it's going to be a little more expensive than what I'm showing you here on Kayak. Kayak's going with third-party vendors like eDreams and Kiwi, um, and that's going to be a little bit cheaper going through that, that route. Um, but if you want direct just go to the website and you'll have to pay ten more dollars or so for each flight I think on Zip Air. Um, Manila there's definitely some things to do I don't like it as much as Tokyo but you know I'll stay a few days there so the next flight's gonna be in Manila to Dubai on Cebu or Cebu 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 Airlines for hundred and five dollars which is a pretty good deal considering the distance here uh, flying from Manila, Philippines to the United Arab Emirates, which is Dubai, or where Dubai is. Um, so Dubai is a pretty cool place to see, it just has some crazy buildings and the tallest building in the world, or it was the tallest building in the world. Um, you can fly to our next destination from here, but you can do it a little cheaper if you take a bus and taxi to uh, um, Abu Dhabi, which I've never been to, I'd like to go there, but it's going to be about the same price either way. You're going to play a little more flight-wise, going directly from Dubai to Budapest, which is our next destination. And then it's going to be about $20 getting from uh, Dubai to Abu Dhabi to fly to Budapest from there, which is going to be a slightly cheaper flight. So either way, the next flight is going to be Abu Dhabi to Budapest on Wizz Airlines for $77. That's going to be on November 28th. So Budapest is an awesome city. It's probably my favorite city in Europe. There's a ton to do there, a ton to see, I think. So once you've spent your time in Budapest and enjoy the Christmas markets or whatever else you wanted to sightsee there, the next flight is going to be on EasyJet to Paris Charles de Gaulle from Budapest for $56. And that's going to be on December 2nd. So if I do this trip, this is going to be the third time I've gone to Paris, so I don't really need to see that much. Um, so it's only going to be a couple days there. Uh, the next flight is going to be December 5th, leaving Charles de Gaulle to LAX for $253 on WestJet. Um, so there is a layover on this one in Calgary, which isn't too bad. I think it's just uh, three hours or so. Not really enough time to get out and about, but it's a pretty cheap way home. It's about 16 hours in total, counting layover. All in all, that's $810 to fly around the world. That's a pretty good deal. You're going to see from Los Angeles, Tokyo, Manila, Dubai, and or Abu Dhabi, uh, Budapest, Paris, and then back home. And this is taking place during the Christmas market season in Europe. So Paris and Budapest will have Christmas markets open. They usually start around November 26th. In Paris, it varies for each Christmas market. They have multiple all over the place. So enjoy.